is up guys today I want to talk to you about something that's very important that a lot of people struggle on and a lot of people don't really understand yet and that's sniping heli pilots I mean sometimes good uh, jet pilots but um today we're gonna to start off with the uh, the sniper that you want to use personally I used to use the SV-98 but I stopped using it and um, now the M98B is the weapon of choice but the M48-5 is good as well um, the sidearm is something that you can follow up with. For instance, a little bird pilot, if you snipe and get a hit marker, you're going to want to use a 44 Magnum to knock him out. Um, other than that, the other three setups, the other gadgets don't really matter. But the, uh, the scope does. And um, the 8 times scope is what you're going to go with because the 12 times scope is too much of a zoom that you can't really notice on the pilot and lead the shot. Leading the shot is what it's all about. The straight pull bolt is obvious because it's a rapid follow up shot. But the laser sight. There's no point in it. What's the point in attack light as well? There's no point in it. Um, the suppressor, there's definitely no point in it because it just worsens the shot. It's harder because you have to lead it more and it's a bigger bullet drop, so that makes it ten times harder. So I suggest nothing for the third setup. Other than that, you're ready to go. Step one. Sniping helicopter pilots, particularly the scout. Seems easy, right? That's because it is. Let's take another look back at that, shall we? And... Freeze frame. Oh, great. That moment every sniper dreads. That moment when that 3,950 pound, 4.9 million dollar scout helicopter is looking at them face to face. The sniper automatically thinks those two words, I'm dead. But instead, try putting yourself in the pilot's shoes and have the same mentality as he does to kill. Be mindful, he has you in his sights so he can see you, but you also see him. My motto is kill or be killed, and at these type of moments, apply it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because you need someone to push you to your limits, and that's what I'm here to try to do. Step 2. Sniping heli pilots, particularly scout, at long range. And stop. Now these shots are a little bit more tricky because not only do you have to lead the bullet to match the distance, but you need to know your bullet drop for each gun. For example, in this clip I'm using the M48-5 which has the fastest bolt pull out of all the snipers, if you didn't know that already. But be mindful, odds are, if he's not a 100 star shit bucketeer in the helicopter, then he probably won't see you. So take your time, but not too much time because you won't get easy shots where he's just about to go on a run and is completely vertically up, hence this scenario. At these moments, I use a little trick to help my shot, to for sure hit him in the cranium. It's called a horizontal setup. I position myself horizontally, or my scope horizontally, according to the tail, which is supposed to look parallel, like so. You then measure the bullet drop, which in this case is a little higher than the M98B, and you fire away. It's that simple. Step 3. Sniping helicopter pilots, particularly attack. Now these choppers are five times harder to snipe the pilots out because of one simple reason that changes everything. The window. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to show you a professional drawing made by myself to showcase what you're up against. Now about 99.9% .9 of people don't take into consideration the difficulty of sniping people out of a window that's just big enough for the head of another soldier to be visible. The key is to find a little square window and pretend it's a soldier's head running. Personally, I suggest you go to hardcore matches and practice sniping pilots out on there so you can get a feel for it. But that's just myself. Another key is to wait till he's firing missiles because usually that's when they are focusing on another person to kill and that distracts them from your deadly bullet that's about to enter their thoughts. AKA their brain. Step 4. Sniping helicopter pilots, particularly attack, at long range. And stop. Now notice how I don't have my scope aimed above the chopper. That's because of something called the chopper drop. That's when the pilot isn't using his throttle to fly higher and higher and higher. He's just dropping. 
And these are precious moments you don't want to let squander out of your hands. At these moments, you have to act fast and precise. My little secret I do at this kind of a shot is I position the center of my scope upon the gunner's seat. Because as the chopper is falling, he will end up running right into my bullet. The enemy set a charge. Step 5. Sniping jet pilots out. Particularly the flankers. Okay. Now this is something people will only get a few times in their whole battlefield career. But with some practice, you can break that bond of luck and turn it into skill. Hopefully after this step, you'll have jet pilots second guess to pick you off out of everyone else. My trick I use is similar to step 2, except this time I align my scope's horizontal lines parallel to the jet's wings instead of the chopper's tail. I also wait for the right moment to release my shot because you won't have many chances when he makes that strafe. I then set my scope to the bottom of the pilot's window because to you, he's coming in slow, but in reality, he's coming at you with a force of up to 200 miles per hour. So keep that in thought as you take your shot and focus. Step six, sniping jet pilots, particularly the F-35. All fast mover spotted, over. Now, I couldn't find a clip that I didn't already explain and didn't relate to step five. So I thought of what an F-35 jet can do that a flanker doesn't do, and that's a mode built into the F-35 jets known as hovering. Now if you have 100 stars or just know how to move in the F-35 jets, then you will be a master at controlling your hover mode, unlike uh, myself. That's besides the point. Anyways, like I was saying, the hover mode in the F-35 can be a tricky thing to understand, even though it looks so, 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 so easy. First thing is first, you must pay attention to the direction of the hover, which in this case, he's hovering backwards. So I always remind myself of that lead that you must provide in the shot to get that shot. So as you see, I aim my scope in the direction of the hover, and I keep my eye on the pilot's head. I then watch my bullet take control of that $2 billion aircraft. I can't thank you guys enough for watching my in-depth tutorial on how to snipe jet and heli pilots. If you guys enjoyed, spread the word about my channel, and even subscribe to catch up on my newest montages. But if I get a lot of feedback on this video, I just might make more tutorials. And uh, P.S. This is my first commentary. <laughs> right, ARA out.